This is our second video about common logarithms or common logs. In this video we want to continue with our, our use of common logs, our understanding that since they are found on a scientific calculator, most scientific calculators, you can easily find a log button and that log button is a log base 10 or common log. Um, we can easily use the change of base formula now uh, no matter what uh, logarithm we are dealing with. So we can easily use our change of base formula. If we have a log base A of B, remember, we can simply go log of B over log of A to get our decimal approximate, or in some cases an exact answer, uh, for what our logarithm is. If we take a look at simplifying log base 2 of 16, uh, just to show that this works, uh, we can take log base 2 of 16 and we can change that into a log base 2 of 2 to the fourth power. This is something we could do before. Before we had a uh, common log, before we could put logs into a calculator, we can drop the 4 down in front of the logarithm with our property of exponents for logs. And remember that log base 2 of 2 is just going to be a 1, so we are left with a 4 times a 1. So log base 2 of 16 is a 4. We could punch the same thing into a calculator real quick if we wanted to. Log base 2 of 16, using a change of base formula, we could write it as the log of 16 over the log of 2. And I wish I had a calculator that I could pull up and show this with, but you'll have to just pause it for a second, try it on your own. Log of 16 divided by log of 2. Be careful with parentheses as always. And we should end up with a 4 again. Not all logarithms can be done both ways. Some of them have to be done, or are more easily done, I guess I should say, with a common log or, or a natural log, but for right now a common log, uh, change the base formula. So if we take log base 4 of 23, we use our change of base formula to write as a log base 10 of 23 over a log base 10 of 4. And once again, we don't, we don't write our base 10s. Common log is an implied base 10. This is now something that we can put directly into our calculator. Be careful with your parentheses, especially since you're dealing with a division. We should come up with a 2.262 if we round it to three decimal places. Okay. Same thing can be done down here with the log base 9 of 1 half. We can have different numbers, fractions, in all kinds of different places. Remember, you cannot take the log of a negative number, so if you ever try to, it'll tell you that you have domain issues uh, because it's outside the domain of log. If we take the log of 1 half and divide it by the log of 9, we should end up with a negative 0.315. Remember, we cannot take the log of a negative number. That does not mean that we cannot get a negative log out. We can get, I'm sorry, a negative value out for our log. We can get a negative value out. I hope this helps you in seeing how to take the logs of various log bases of different numbers using a change of base formula to uh, utilize common logs in your, your calculators.